So this one involves a nitrile, right? A nitrile. And the reason why they compare it to an ester is because we're always thinking about the number of bonds here. So this is one, two, three bonds, right? Three bonds to the carbon to a heteroatom. So a carboxylic acid or an ester, so if I just compared it to an ester, right? This carbon has three bonds to oxygen, right? So three bonds to a heteroatom, another atom that has lone pairs. And a nitrile has, this, has the same type of thing, the carbon the nitrile does. Right, we're talking about oxidation states, right? So this carbon is on the same oxidation state as this, as this carbon of the ester, um, and that becomes important because that helps us understand how it reacts. So the first step here is pretty, uh, hopefully, pretty simple for you all to see. You have a Grignard basic conditions, and basic conditions. What do we do? We add something. So right, treat this nitrile like it's a, uh, uh, like a carbonyl at some level. And you break the pi bond. And that actually gets you right to here. What am I doing? There you go. Right? You get this imine anion intermediate. Right? You're stuck. And there's not really a tetrahedral intermediate, right? Because you were sp hybridized, and now you're sp2, so it's not really a good leaving group thing. So you're kind of stuck here, so you can't really do anything. So then you go on to step two, which is protonation. So protonation is going to give you something, right? That hopefully, right, if this is H, you've seen before. Right, with an H, and what's going to happen is this is really going to actually be an excess. And now we're doing something you've done before, right? Everybody recognize this? An imine plus H plus with water as a solvent. What happens, right? This is an imine. What happens is this becomes NH three, right? In this case, because there's no carbons on it, we're going to keep adding H plus. We're going to replace this with, a, with water and make a ketone. All right, so it's going to be a ketone, and in this case, the nitrogen source we added, we also make NH3, which of course is a gas. NH3. So this is a, a, applying two things you know, right? You know about Grignard's, adding them in, but now we're adding it to a nitrile, so it's a little different. But we get to this kind of thing you might recognize is imine anion, so we can protonate that, but then we can keep protonating it, because now, now we're doing a reaction you know, an imine, and turning that into a ketone. So net, what did we do? We added carbons, we did a Grignard reaction with something new, but same kind of mechanism, and then we did protonation with excess acid to something we know with imine, turning an imine into a ketone, so with several steps. Right, so we're kind of applying two things we know within one reaction. There'll be several steps here. There'll be several steps to get here, from here to here. And there'll be several steps to get here. There'll be proton transfers because you got to turn this into a better leaf. You got to protonate here. Water adds in. You do another proton transfer, right? You get NH three as a leaving NH three plus as a leaving group. That leaves, and then you regenerate this as an acid like a catalyst. Absolutely.